Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. G'day all, how are you? Right, so guys, I'm gonna show you how to make bacon today. That was my rant, finished. Right, so have a look at this. This is all the, the belly bacon and also the loin bacon here. So I cut a lot of the belly up into belly strips, into half inch, three quarter inch um, strips and um, put all those in the pack, which um, we've got for Chick Chick and for um, Bob and his lovely wife, Joy. So I made them up a pack of bacon this morning. So I gave them a big belly packet that was full size and I made up the cure with the salt, the cure and the, um, the brown sugar. And I'll give it to them because they do it themselves at home now. Once I've made it up for them, they'll take it home, put it in the fridge. Every day they'll turn it over, flip, 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 flip. And after five, seven days, whatever, then they'll take it out, wash it down, stick it in the dry and slice it themselves. So they've got their own bacon whenever they want. So it's quite bloody good. Now, I was going to do all the mints today. Was. But it's in the freezer, freezing up. So it's frozen, so it can stay there. So there's no fucking problem with that. But all this bacon has got to get a cure rubbed into it. Okay, all of this. Now I've got 14 kilos here. 14 kilos. If I take one of these pork chop ones off. See, that's two kilos. That's two kilos just in that. Hey, two kilos just in that. So what I'm thinking of doing is slicing, slicing this one into um, pork choppies. That's what I'm thinking. Yummy. And doing all the rest in bacon. Because I like pork choppies. Now this one hasn't got the bone in it, so it's easy to slice. I can put it on the little slicer and slice this at, um, you know, yay thickness, three-eighths thick or something like that. And they'll come up really nice. So I might, I'll actually, I'll do that, bugger it. So uh, that's giving me 12 kilos now of bacon to make up. 12 kilos. That's going to be fun, guys. Watch me on the channel today. We're going to make bacon and put it away. And in a week's time, next Sunday, or even Saturday, we've got fresh bacon. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Watch out. Right, so this is the little grind, the little slicer I have. So I don't want to pull out the beast just for this little thing here. But this is slicing. So this will be nice crumb chops. Nicely crumb these will be. Look at that. Nice thickness. Very nice. Tell you, it's fun cutting up that pork, mate. I tell you, yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, guys. So all done, washed up, put away, done. So that's given us one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and the little first bit straightened off. So that's given us twelve pieces. So that's turned out quite well. So I like those ones here. Is um crumbed, crumb them up and. Cook them up, beautiful. Seriously, fried egg on top. Something you can use a knife and fork. Because you don't use many knife and forks in the Philippines. Sort of like, everything's a spoon. I say to Chick, you know, knife and forks are the only thing that separates us from the fucking animals, you know? You know that woman? Right, that's why I can't stand it when I see them eating with their hands. I'm lucky Chick doesn't do that. She doesn't eat with her hands, thank fuck. If she did, I'd bloody, you know? So the only thing that separates us from the animals, guys, is that we use knife and forks and spoons. Remember that. And that's my saying, I can say that if I want, because it's the truth. Can't handle the truth. Right. So here we go. So that's done. I'm going to package all that up into packets. And then I've got this 12 kilos here of bacon to cook up, to cook up, to cure up. So I'll weigh it all out, each one separately on the um, little microgram scales. Weigh this one out, all the sugar, brown sugar and cure. And uh, in a week's time, we've got bacon. So... I'm going to pack this up and um, get back into it. Right, guys, so I'm all ready to go. I've got all the pork chops packed up. Done. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Five packets, that's 12 kilos of um, bacon we're going to put down for the cure now. Now, all of this is the cure mix. This one here, I'll put it in the description below where you can buy this. Now, this lasts for years and years and years. So you don't have to buy a couple of them, you know. This fuck me, you'd be dead by the time all this bloody uses all these up. So I've had this, I've made bacon now for years, uh, last for years, and look how much cure I've got in there. Heaps of cure, guys. Salt, and of course, brown sugar. So I'll use up all the old stuff first before I open a new packet. So weigh it on the small scales, these are grams. Now, the bacon, this size here, this is 2.28 kil, uh, two, 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 Kilograms, 280 grams. 
or 2,280 grams. Now, I've got an Excel sheet made up that Monois made up himself, and it goes from 100 grams up to five kilograms. So if you've got a piece of, you've got a hunk of pork you're gonna put down in um, to make some bacon, and it's 1.010, this will tell you exactly how much cure, how much brown sugar and how much salt to use. So if you want a copy of that, email me, the address is down below in the description box, put up our homestead deli at Hotmail. And the cure sheet is there on an Excel sheet. So if you've got 2.4 kilos, this load is 2.4. This much cure, this much salt, this much brown sugar. If you stick to the measurements of the size of the pork, how many kilos the pork is to the measurements that I've added to that, you can't go wrong, guys. If you want, you can add things like, um, you can add some herbs to it, some brown sugar, ah, uh, brown sugar, dickhead. You can add some um, pepper to it if you want. If you want a little bit of pepper flavoring if you want, you can do that. If you want to add some um, honey or some um, golden syrup or some, um, ma -na 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 -na. what's that maple stuff called? Ah, oh, fuck my dog, would him. Ah. That's bees honey, product of the USA. Maple syrup, if you want some maple, okay, where should you put that one? Okay, Canadian maple syrup, finest, purest Canadian. You know, you can put some of that on it as well. So, um, but to remember, I say, well, to put the cure on is to draw all the liquids out. So, how's it gonna go if you put the honey and you put the maple syrup? I don't know. In the factories, of course, it's all injected with water. Smoke. Smoke is uh, it's a liquid injected into it, which um, you can do that. You can use the liquid smoke as well, all that shit, inject it, you know, whatever. But I'm just going to, oh, I have the standard cure mix, okay? I've looked at many, many over the years, and this is the best one that turned out. So it's not my recipe. It's one that I found on the internet after doing research, because hobby farmers research everything, guys. Research, research. So I'm gonna make this up. So I make it all up separately, I put the cure in, then drop it into here. Put the salt in, make sure it's dead right, drop it into there, brown sugar. And I don't use it all on the same bowl, because if I've got too much of one thing in there, if you're gonna try and scoop it out, you've got all the other ingredients as well. All right, I'll be back at ya. All right, guys, so this is 2.28, so we'll make it 2.3 kilos now if i have a look under my little trusty little screenshot i have here so this is going to go two point oh i've lost it where'd you go bitch hey you hey 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 you hey hey you there we go all right so go 2.3 so at 2.3 i'm looking at 46 grams of salt 5.75 grams of cure and 33 grams of brown sugar okay it's quite easy to make up so i do each one separate i don't do like 12 kilos and make it up as 12 kilos and try and divide it if i do it this way i've got exactly the right amount for each piece so it's 2.3 kilos it's 46 grams of salt 5.75 grams of cure and 34.5 of brown sugar so that can't be too hard can it Right guys, so that's the measurements all measured out, brown sugar, cure and salt. So I'll mix all that one up and now I'll put this one, this lovely piece of bloody meat here. How I put that under here. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Is that beautiful loin bacon? Look at that. Absolutely sexy as hell. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna mix this all together, then I'll rub it in and rub it all in with the hands, nice and into it all, and uh, put it back in the plastic bag and turn it every day. So that's what we're doing. I'm gonna do that for the next one, two, three, four bags, and uh, we'll see how we go when we finish. All right, guys, so here we go. Put him down, grab the knife, give him a couple of stabs through the skin, okay? So the marinade, the cure can get in. Just give it a few stabs. Done. I like to use one of these plastic containers here. We can put him in. And just a matter of rub, 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 rub. Get it all on the sides, get it all on the ends. Okay. And rub it in, guys. 
Rub it in. Stick it to it, baby. All over. Okay, look at that. Yes, of course, we've got clean hands, you dick. All right. Get the end done. And this end done. And this end. Use every little piece of it. Get it on there. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. And that salt will actually start working straight away. That will start working. Oh. I can taste this bloody bacon on the fire. Yummy, crispy, it's eggs, some beanies, nice toast. Oh. My towel, Tigo. Right guys, whack him in. The bigger the bag, the better, trust me. The bigger the bag, the better. Unless of course you're talking about your ex-wife. The old bag, old bag. Right, so now get all this last little bits that you got left. Okay, and put them all inside, guys. What I do is just open it up and go, whoop, done. Look at that, all done. Now the thing you will find, when you put this in, you'll, you'll spill some of the liquid, you spill some of it on your ties. And it makes it hard to close. So just give that a wipe through, just like that. Give it a white fruit, all that salt, brown sugar out of there, then you can seal it up. Inshallah. Right. Here it is there. So that will go into the fridge and we'll use that every day, we'll turn it. Ah. Every day. So that's how easy it is, guys. So I've got four more to do. So I'll get stuck into those ones now and I'll be back at you. Remember, if you want a copy of the Cure Mix, which I have, then email me. Address is down below in the description box. Okay, panabohomestaddeli.com, not at hotmail.com. We'll send it out to you. Many people have tried it. Many people have actually said, William, we've, we've done it. We ate our first lot of bacon the other day. Bloody beautiful, mate. Kui Kava, she'll be beaut. Yvonne Gulgong, pissed in a bulgong. So it does work. Right, let's get these others going. Okay guys, all done. All these bags are done. Look, liquid's coming out already, look at that. Hey, have a look at that. As soon as you bag them up, it starts activating. As you can see that, piece of juice is out already. Look at this, hey. Look at that, juice is coming out already. <coughs> so, what we do now is we leave them for five to seven days. So five days minimum. If you haven't got time on the sixth day, don't worry, do it on the seventh day. If oh, you, you want to go out and throw a nuclear bomb on some country or something like that, then just go out another day. It doesn't matter because it's curing. Okay, but if you leave it too long, the cure then will counter react and start to go back into the meat and you'll get a darkish meat. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Right, so what do I do? What's it? I put them in the fridge and I put them, this, these ones, skin side down. Put them all skin side down on the shelves in the fridge. Skin side down. So tomorrow, when I turn it, when I pull them all out the fridge, it's, oh, did I, which one was this one? I know it's so easy now, it'll be, tomorrow will all be meat side down. And then on Tuesday, it'll be skin side down. Wednesday, meat side down. So if you keep them all the same, you can't go wrong, guys. Right, so there you go. This is us on the Aussie farm making our own bacon because Aussie farmers are hobby farmers and we do it right the first time. See you later guys. Bye bye.